What's good with the YouTube world? Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you ain't already locked in. Make sure you hit that like button. Tap into the channel. Stay in. Stay here. Stay right here with me. It's gonna be plenty of college football, plenty of politics, plenty of topics that folks kind of shy about talking about. You're gonna hear a lot of things that you ain't gonna hear on other channels. You're gonna see a lot of stuff you don't see on other channels. This right here, I gotta give a big shout out to Thomas Hammock, the coach of the NIU Huskies. Uh, right now, they are ranked number 25, I believe. 24 or 25. It's going to get to it, but it's a it's a, it's a a beautiful college football season. The, the only fans that's really upset right now in the college football world is the Auburn fans and the Florida State fans. Them the only fans right now that y'all can't say shit. Just shut the fuck up, sit back and watch. And the Colorado fans. Y'all fucked up right now. But at the same time, NIU, Northern Illinois, is the hot topic right now. It's the Cinderella story right now. Like I said, yeah, they ranked number 25 right now, sitting at 2-0. Now, out of the top 25 teams in the country, that top 10 looks strong. But there's some shaky teams up there, too. There's some, there's some shaky teams from 11 through 22. Some of those teams going to take some L's. Now, 21 through 25, these are some tough teams right here. Now, mind you, not Clemson, I'm still on the fence about them. But Iowa State look good. Nebraska look damn good. Boston College look all right. And NIU look good. Now, y'all peep down there at the bottom. You see Illinois. They 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 peeking through the window. They look good. Uh, Boise look good. And Syracuse. Y'all see Syracuse in there. And Memphis look decent, too. It's a lot of it's a lot of good football being played this year. You know, it's it's a good year for college football and these up-and-coming schools. Like I said, with all this transfer portal stuff going on and all that. So, a lot of these schools and, and, and uh, organizations and programs, they getting better caliber players based on what's going on. And I feel like NIU could be a sleeper this year. I feel like NIU could be ranked as high as either 10 or 11 this year. Maybe 12, somewhere up in there. They damn near might make the playoff. It depends on how the cards lay out. Could could NIU win out? I want, I want to talk about that right now real quick. Could NIU go undefeated this year? Now, y'all see they won, they, they won first game, second game. And uh, they got a bye week this week. But when they come back, they got to see Buffalo. Now, me personally, I got them beating Buffalo, which got them starting off at 3-0. Then we get to the middle part of the season where you got NC State. I, 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 got, them, I got them taking a win in that, but I'm going to put a star beside that because NC State's a good team. I got them beating Massachusetts. And then when we get to Bowling Green, I got to start beside that one because that's another shaky game because Bowling Green is a good team. So, and now you're going to have to bring that, that A game to, to get past NC State, Bowling Green. Just It really just depends on how these teams play out. But those are the only two games that I can see them maybe losing. They're going to beat Toledo. They're going to beat Ball State. They're going to beat Western Michigan. So that's going to, that, that right there, sit them at what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 0. Uh, 9 and 0. So now here we go to, to, to the, the last three games of the season 10, 11, 12. I got them beating Akron. I got them beating Miami, Ohio, and finish their last game at home, senior night. They're going to definitely capitalize and beat, and beat Central Michigan like a drum. Can NIU win out? In my opinion, yes. Northern Illinois is the sleeper this year. They can finish 12-0, maybe 11-1, or maybe 10-2. Like I said, if they lose that, them two games of Bowling Green and NC State. I'm going to let Coach Hammock talk to y'all right now. Yeah, look, look at a real coach in action. Thing. That's what we are. That's a team. That's a family. That's guys that want it. I told you all week, we did not need luck. We did not need luck. Let's go! They called us average. Man, Thomas Hammett got them guys ready out there at IU, man. Shout out to Coach Hammett. Like I said, man, he been there five years now. He got a MAC championship under his belt. He got a bowl championship under his belt. And now he's got a big no, a big game under his belt, big, a big win under his belt against a number five ranked Notre Dame at Notre Dame. Y'all got to peep that. They beat number five Notre Dame at Notre Dame at home. Big win for NIU, man. And I really see this team... Finishing the season undefeated. 
like I said, the only two games I see them having a little issue is the Bowling Green game and the NC State game. Other than that, I just see them running the table based on what I just seen against uh seen with them against uh Notre Dame. They look good. And as you can see, this is a solid team. It's not about one guy. It's not about two guys. It's not about what's going on with the coach. It's not, it's not, it's all about football. Coach Hammett got one mission, one goal, and that's to win. And that's to get these guys in the best position to win. He's he's looking for championships. He's looking for bowl. He's looking for the glory. He's looking for what a coach, a head coach is supposed to be doing, is getting these guys in the best position for them to win. And shout out to Coach Hammock, man. This is a, a great look for NIU. For all the recruits up and coming, if you're looking into going to NIU, man, you're making a good choice. You, you might not be getting the big name schools. You might not be getting a, but let me let you know something. It don't matter where you go. It don't, I don't give a fuck if you go to Division Three. If you can cook, you, you gonna, they're going to find you. If you're cooking, they're going to be looking. Straight up. It don't matter where you go. D1, D2. So to go to a school like NIU and be on this type of platform and play against these other schools and, and, and come out as an underdog and actually win, but it looks better on your resume. It looks way better on your pro resume when you can take a team that nobody's checking for and go beat the big dog. So shout out to NIU, man. Shout out to Coach Hammock, man. Coach Hammock doing the, 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 doing the right thing with their program. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to see how long he's going to be, be at NIU. Uh, like I said, he's been there five years now. Five, five or six years now, I believe five. And like I said, he's already got a, a, a MAC championship on this belt. And I really, 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 hundred percent feel that this year, guaranteed, NIU's gonna win the MAC. And like I said, man, it 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 just depends on how these cards play out. You might see NIU getting that championship, man. I Me, mean, uh, the playoff. You might see NIU getting the playoff. Cause last year, if y'all remember, y'all remember Liberty went undefeated. Now last year, if they'd had a twelve team tournament. Liberty might have been able to slide in there, you know, one of them at large spots. Cause what these com- what the committee like to do, since they don't like being the bad guy, when these little guys like this, these colleges from the uh, American Conference and these you know Mid American Conference, uh, Sun Belt, you know these conferences, these little uh, middle of the road conferences, when they when these teams do go uh, do go undefeated, they always try to give them a chance. They put them in a high ranked bowl game. They put them against a high ranked school or number a number eight team, a number seven, something like that. So they always try to give them a chance. So I feel like if NIU run the table this year, especially with having a win over Notre Dame on their resume this year, over number five Notre Dame, I think that they might try to at least give NIU a playoff spot at that number 12 spot. Straight up. Because they look damn good, man. Shout out to Coach Hammock, man. Shout out to NIU out there, man. Y'all keep that going, man. I'm looking forward to see y'all next week against Buffalo. Like I said, we got the week off. NIU got the week off this week. Syracuse got the week off. Um, uh, we we got we, man, college football finna be busting this weekend. If you ain't doing nothing, you ain't got to work Saturday or nothing, man. Kick back, eleven o'clock. You can watch all the games, man. I, I mean, all it's a good one going on right now. This Texas State and uh 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 Arizona State. Uh, a lot of people sleep on Texas State, but they got some hitters down there too. But Arizona Arizona State's supposed to be handling them right now, but they. Like I said, some some games you walk into underestimating your opponent, and I think a lot of that's going on this season. I think that's what went on with Notre Dame. They underestimated NIU, and they came out there and put that stain on them. And like I said, tonight I think uh, Arizona State is underestimating Texas State. They, they might fuck around and take a L. But we're going to see how this all play out, man. We're just watching these teams, man. You know, you really can't tell what's really going on with a team until about the fifth or sixth uh, week. But right now in week two, I got NIU looking, I mean, looking like the Cinderella of the year. They the underdog of the year. And I really highly feel that they going to go undefeated. I'm going to go on stamp it. I I 100% believe that NIU will go undefeated this season and win the MAC championship. If they don't, oh, you know, oh, well, I'm wrong. But I'm going to go and put that out. I, I think Coach Hammock them is going undefeated this year. Everybody talking about black coaches and who doing it for the culture. Coach Hammock doing it for the coach. Coach Hammock rocking this shit, man. He got them guys playing. Did y'all just see this? Did y'all go back and watch the beginning. Go back and see Coach Hammock talk to his team. Y'all see how crazy them boys go for, for Coach Hammock? You need, that, that's coaching right there. That's how you do this. No shot at nobody. No Nobody else doing what they doing with their program. You know, Coach Freeman. Shout out to Coach Freeman. You know, you took a big L against NIU. 
You know, you some people, some in Notre Dame fans. I know they can't stand you right now, but this is no knock at your program. We talking about Coach Thomas Hammock right now. Shout out to Coach Brown. Shout out to Coach Moore at Michigan. Shout out to Coach Huff at Marshall. Uh, Coach Franklin at Penn State. Shout out to Coach Elliott at Virginia. We 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 keep an eye on them. We keep an eye on Coach Foster. Uh, Co- uh, they they play Indiana this weekend. That's gonna be a good ass game. UCLA, Indiana. Coach Foster. This is gonna be his first game against a a pretty decent program. So we're gonna see how he how they go out, how they come out. Uh, Coach McGee at Georgia State. Shout out Coach Loxley at Maryland. Uh, Coach Drayton Temple. Uh, y'all watch out for Western Michigan. Coach Taylor. Coach Walters at Purdue. Purdue look all right. Kent State. We're gonna get that together, Coach Burns. You know we we still trying to get Kent State together, but. They got they got a game against Tennessee this weekend. That's that might get ugly. So, shout out shout out to Coach Burns out there at Kent State, man. Hold your head, y'all. Keep working. Uh, Coach Mason out of Middle Tennessee State. Coach Prime at Colorado. I mean, I mean, it's, uh, all all the black coaches of college football, man. Keep working, man. And let Thomas Hammock be your motivation. Let let Thomas let Tom, Thomas Hammock is the beacon for for black coaching in college football right now. Straight up, he's the spokesperson for black coaching in college football. He's doing it for the culture for real, man. Shout out to NIU, man. Keep it going, man. You a beast of a coach. Great coach. Them guys, I can tell they love playing with you. There's 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 nothing I can nothing I can say about you, Coach Hammock, man. You doing your thing. Keep it up. Looking forward to watching you for the rest of the season. And yes, I'm already stamping that NIU is going undefeated, man. PSA, man. I'm out of here.